Hey guys, how you doing? Right, I'm back and I've got a package video for you today. I've got a small package here, which has come from Japan. There's two games in that package, one of which I'm going to show you, one of which I'm not going to show you. Uh, the reason I'm not going to show you the second game is because basically, I told you the other day I've got a system that's coming from somewhere in the world. Um, the game in there is for that system, so obviously when the system comes, I can show you the game, because if I show the game now, then it gives away what the system is. <laughs> so, yeah. Other than that, the game that's in there I'm going to show you is uh, from an existing system. It's for the Super Nintendo, and it is a game I've been after for a hell of a long time. And quite frankly, I can't get the American version because eBay prices are ridiculous. Just for a, a normal mint condition box copy, you're talking well over a hundred dollars the majority of the time, and that is just insane. Even if I had that kind of spare cash, there's no way I'm laying that kind of money out because it's a game I want to play, but it's not a game that I'm a massive fan of. Um, now that's probably going to surprise people when they see it because it is a highly regarded game. However, for me, I played it once and I wasn't that impressed with it. I thought it was okay. Uh, I thought there were better games in the series that it comes from, but I wanted to give it another try and I wanted it for the collection. So what I did last weekend, I modified my Super Nintendo so that it can take Japanese cartridges, which if you don't know is really simple. You basically there's two notches inside of the cart slot. You just break them off, file it down nice and smooth and the Japanese cartridges will fit perfectly. It's really, really easy to modify an American Super Nintendo. Same as the American N64, you do exactly the same thing. So yeah, so I've got that to show you, and before I show you that, I've also got a game from my Super Nintendo American collection, which, uh, I don't know why I'm pointing at it, because you know it's there, you can see. <laughs> but I've got a game for that collection, which came from Ninja's Castle. Um, yeah, I did buy again from them, because I, when I had that Chuck Rock incident, they were very good about it, and they were really sound, and as I said in the video, and they did give me £5 off the game in the first place, so despite the fact that they made a mistake and the box wasn't listed as being damaged on the back, I let it slide because it was, you know, I got a £5 discount anyway, so I weren't going to argue with that. And they were really friendly, really helpful, so it's cool. So I've got a game from them. Um, it's a sealed copy of a game for Super Nintendo, and it's a game I've never ever heard of. I just happened to see them list it, and I thought, oh, it sounds interesting. Did a bit of YouTube research. And it looked pretty cool. I don't know if it is, but it looked interesting, so I thought, well, I'll give it a shot. And the good thing is, <laughs> they had it on sale by now, $21.99. I offered them £17. <laughs> Bang, won it. So they're really good with the offers. And that game, guys, it's a sealed copy, as I say, a legitimate sealed copy, not a reseal, which is even better. And it's a game called Metal Morph. Were you really winky? <laughs> And how you know if an a, a American Super Nintendo game is legitimately sealed from the factory? You probably won't see it on the camera, but there's a, a seam that runs up there, a vertical seam. If a game is made, one of the first releases made in Japan, which are the best releases to buy, then it will have the vertical seal, seam. If they're re-released ones made by Majesco in Mexico, which I detest and will not buy because they're crap, they've got a horizontal seam, so you can generally tell the difference. It hasn't got a seam, there's more than likely that somebody's resealed the box to make it look like it's a sealed game to charge more on eBay. So that's all something to look out for. Now on the back, if you can see the screenshots, it looks like a Star Fox kind of shooter. But when I looked at the gameplay on YouTube, it wasn't, because if you look on the front, there's a guy with a gun fighting dudes off and shooting them in the face. On the video on YouTube I saw the gameplay, it was basically a run and gun game. And the guy has like T-1000 mechanics where he can turn into like liquid and go down pipes and navigate the levels and then you also have the shooting elements with the spaceships so I thought it looked quite cool so I thought well 17 quid for a brand new sealed Super Nintendo game it's worth a punt even if it's crap <laughs> so now I've got that I've now if I'll just move out of the way I've now filled out the whole shelf that's completely full now so I've got 57 games in there now which is absolutely fantastic my collection is just you know it's just hitting its stride and I'm really really happy the way it's developing and I know my good friend Alex, Bluetonic78, and a couple of other people have asked for a collection video. And I did say at Christmas when I did my Super Nintendo collection video that I would probably, around June time, do an update. But it's now May. I filled that up and I didn't expect to get this many games by this, this time in such a short space of time. So I will um, very soon be doing another video for that. I know what I was going to just update as far as showing the games that I've bought since Christmas. But I figured that instead of when someone comes to my channel having to trawl from my videos to find the original collection video, I'm just going to go from the desktop and work my way down and just go for every game again, including the new games. Now, if you don't want to watch all of that, I understand, because that's going to be a hell of a long video, because I can talk a lot. <laughs> and, you know, like Blue Tonic 78, I'll be there for a good half an hour or so talking about this. 
So I can understand that people don't want to watch it, but for those that are interested in the Super Nintendo collection, I will do the video and I will show every single game and give you my impressions. Obviously some of the games I've not had a chance to play because I've only recently bought them. But you know, I'll give my impressions the best I can on all the games I have played, which is the majority of them. Right, now I've said that. So I've got Metal Wolf, which is going to be interesting to try. I can't wait to try that, on top of the rest of the SNES games I've got. Um, now for the Japanese package, which it feels really weird because it feels like it's in a lunchbox or something, like a bit of Tupperware. I don't know what the hell he's doing with the packaging. Got to say, this guy was excellent. I ordered it last week and he posted it on the 5th, which I remember right, it was last Thursday. I checked the tracking on the weekend. It arrived in the UK from Osaka, Japan on Saturday the 7th. Two days. That's really impressive. And then it arrived today, which is today is Tuesday the 10th. So, yeah, I can't believe that. Two days from Japan, that's excellent. So let's crack it open. Now, I know the game, by the way, just on, I'm really drawing this out. Sorry, guys. I've just thought something about to tell you. I know for a fact that this game I've bought for the Super Nintendo, or Super Famicom, because it's Japanese, is not in very good condition. The box is worn at the bottom. Now, I'm fully aware of that. And normally, as you know, I like to buy games as mint as possible. However, the price of this game, whether it be American or Japanese, is always over $100. And I, I mean, there have been a couple of Japanese ones I've seen less than that, but generally they go for 160 and ridiculous prices. Some people charge, t like the American one I've seen going with like sealed copies, people trying to get $600, which is just stupid because no one's going to pay that for the game. It's ridiculous. So I got this absolutely dirt cheap considering the price of what they go for on eBay. So I, can, I thought, well, the box is a little damaged, but I wanted the box copy, and I'm never going to get one of these cheap, so I thought, what the hell. No, I've built it up, it better be a good game, hasn't it? <laughs> I think most people will agree that it's a good game. As I say, I'm not a big fan. I had it when I used to collect Super Famicom years ago, um, and I wasn't that impressed. I thought the game that came before it was far superior. But I am willing to give it another try, I did want it to the collection. Okay, weird wrapping. Yeah, he has it all, he's putting some Tupperware for you. <laughs> That's classic, that is. He's put it in, I can't even show you because obviously I'll give away what the other machine is that I've got the game in here for, but it's, I'll, I'll show you when I take them out of the box. He's put them in a big plastic bit of Tupperware, random. And he sort of takes it as well. And uh, he bubble wrapped the games nice and tightly, which I love about Japanese sellers. Japanese sellers have always been the best in my opinion. You know, anyone from Japan, Hong Kong, China, they really know how to package things up. And especially when it comes to retro games, they're absolutely phenomenal. You know, they, they go really over the top and make sure it's well padded. And you know, generally the games are in amazing condition as well. They seem to take really good care of them. So I never have a fear of buying from Japan. Right, there it is. Right. I'll take the game from the new, the new system out and put it to one side because, oh man, that looks beautiful. Wow. Blue Tonic. Oh, Alex, so to say, you know what system I'm getting, and trust me, this game I've just got, you're going to be impressed with the condition, dude. That, that is, that's really nice, I'm very impressed. Right, okay, so the game I got for the Super Nintendo guys, I'll just unwrap it. Man, it's really well packed, actually, I'm quite impressed. It's very gently cut that bubble wrap, so I'm getting to it. Actually, it isn't as bad as the photograph looked. It looked a lot more damaged on the photograph. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm actually... <laughs> Damn, I did get a bargain. <laughs> I swear to God, man, the photograph made the bottom of the box look really, really worn out. That is spectacular. Oh, man, what a nice bloke. That is, that's amazing. Yeah. Bargain. <laughs> Oh, I'm happy now. I did not expect it to be in this condition at all. This is spec oh, superb. That is, for the price I paid, this is an absolute gem. Okay, guys, I've stopped building it up now because I've milked it too much, but it is Castlevania Dracula X. And it is in really nice shape. I can't believe it. I mean, there's a little crease there. On the photograph, he had it like that lying down, and the bottom looked really, really badly worn, and it's this is a little tiny bit there. If you can just see that, hardly anything. Uh, 
do a blue tonic all right in the box. There you go. I love Super Famicom. God, I had Super Famicom games for so many years. And just holding this reminds me of what I collected for the system. They're just beautiful. Look at, I mean, look at the artwork on that. You cannot beat Japanese artwork. It's fantastic. Even the back, the way they do the artwork there, the way they lay the screenshots out nicely, like a cinema kind of style. It's just beautiful. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm really chuffed with that. 1995, 95. So yeah, I finally got... Dracula X for this collection. Really happy. Now I've modified my Super Nintendo to play Japanese Super Famicom games. What I'm going to do is there's a few games that I like on the Super Famicom that you can't buy in America, such as the Parodius series. We got them in Europe, but they never got them in America for some reason. There's a Pop and Twinbee game. There's uh, games like Xandra's Big Adventure I want to get. There's um, Cotton 100%. That's another game I want, which is like a weird shooter. Xandra's Adventure, if you've never heard of it, is the weirdest game. My friend had it when I was a kid because he had a Magicom for his Super Nintendo. If you don't know, Magicom is a copy device, which allows you to copy cartridges to discs to three and a half inch floppies like the Amiga and ST. And he had shitloads of games because they were all pirated. And he had um, Xandra's Adventure, and Xandra's Adventure is basically, the best way to describe it is a platform game where you play a massive jelly baby with a pitchfork. It's the weirdest, I was going to say the F word then, so it's the weirdest game I've ever seen. And I had it on my Super Famicom when I collected back in the, I don't know when I collected it, I always get lost with time, but I think about 2006 I started collecting for the Super Famicom. That game is just epic, so I've got to get that again. And I'm just going to find out other exclusives that I don't know of, that I can't get in America. Plus there's going to be games such as Dracula X, where by the price for the American copy just prohibits me buying it because I won't pay the price, so I'll get the Japanese version. And with that I'll open this up and show you the cartridge and everything, so you can see the condition. I'm really chuffed with that, I'm, you don't understand how happy I am, that's brilliant. I honestly thought that it was in really shitty condition. And I'll tell you how much I pay for it in a minute, and then you'll know why I'm happy. And there, the manual looks... In fact, the manual is mint. There isn't a mark on it. It's rigid. It's not at all bent or anything, or out of shape. It's absolutely... Look at that. You can't love the Japanese. They are absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's just glorious. Look at the screenshots inside there. Absolutely spectacular. You know, when I did, I'll be totally honest with you, at one point I was considering, when I got quite a lot of these games back here, and I've got, now I've got 57 now, so it's never going to happen now, but I did at one point consider selling the lot, and then just going back to buying Japanese again, because I really missed my Super Famicom collection, it was just an amazing, you know, it's a really good time, because the games are still to this day, relatively cheap for the higher titles, like the Mario titles, like Mario World, Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers, Mario World, Mario Kart, Mario All Stars, Games like the Street Fighter Alpha is pretty easy to get from Japan and doesn't cost a whole lot of money. I used to have a mint condition, perfect, as brand new copy of it. Now I had all the Street Fighters. It's a Final Fight, I mean Final Fight 3, no matter what you get, Japanese, American, it's bloody expensive. But you can get bargains. I did get a bargain once on the Japanese copy for $24, which was a ridiculously low price. So yeah, I mean, I have considered that, but what I'm going to do now is I say I've modified the system, so I'm going to stick to my American collection because it's so large. Keep building that up, plus I get to play games in English, which is always a bonus and helps. And all the weird Japanese games that I can't get from America, I'll buy them and put them on that. So, there you go, I've got the plastic tray and the cartridge, which is in fantastic shape because it's from Japan. There you go, so, yeah. Pins could probably do a little bit of a clean, but I can deal with that, though, as long as it loads. And, uh, yeah. Excellent shape, absolutely bloody brilliant. I'm really, really, really happy. Let's pop that back in the box. Can't but I'm really amazed by how good the condition is. Right, guys, so yeah, I've got Dracula X. Now, as I say, at the moment, when I'm checking on eBay, American eBay, for the American version of this game, it's always over $100 for a second hand copy. Sealed copies, you're talking anything from 150 bucks up to 600 the people who charge 600 and I think I saw one for 800 once, they're idiots because no one's ever going to pay those those kind of prices unless you're a complete dickhead. Um, I mean, I wouldn't even pay $150 because it's just not worth it. The game's common, it's not rare, it's all in the slightest. Now, the Japanese copy, as I say, I've seen one other one recently which was allegedly mint condition but it had a stock photo and I did email the seller to find out if it was definitely complete but he never got back to me so it made me suspicious and all in with shipping, he wanted £50, which is a bargain. However, I just figured, well, he just seems a bit suspect, so I didn't touch him. 
and the other copies I've seen on there are nudging up to $200 for a mint condition copy from Japan. This is as close to mint as I'm going to get from the money I, I'm willing to pay. As I say, it's got a little mark there and a tiny bit of wear there, so it's, I would say this is probably an 8 out of 10, I would say, is probably a fair rating. It has got a little bit on the back there as well, so it's minor, it's just minor wear. I'd say 7.5, 8 out of 10. I got this in total, with shipping, it was uh, 30 pounds. That is an absolute steal. I mean, if you know anything about Super Nintendo games, and this game in particular, you'll know how amazing it is. And as I say, I've just told you the price this is going for at the moment. You know, with all these games that we buy for retro, you never know what the true value is because with auctions, you get the true value because it's what people will pay for that game and what they're willing to pay. With buy nows, it's just idiots who know that people like us are collecting, so they just go, oh, screw it. That game looks a little bit rare. There ain't a lot of copies on eBay. I'll jack the price of and it's pointless because all they do is end up just relisting the item several times and wasting their own money listing the games. So, you know, that's up to them if they want to do that. But it just seems a waste of time to me because you're never going to sell it because people who are collectors like ourselves are just going to sit there and go, I ain't paying that, piss off. I don't know. Anyway, I was going to show you a lot. Big Tupperware box, look at that. That's what you call packaging. <laughs> and a ton of bubble wrap as well. Right, I'm hoping my uh, new system will come shortly, hopefully this week. It might come next week. I don't know because... And I, I didn't pick the highest shipping, I picked quite low shipping because uh, it was just really, really expensive to get the system shipped over. You were talking, I think, the, there was two shipping options, there was a standard option and then there was the um, secure option, which would have been $125, or was it, was it 125 was it a bit more? In fact, I'm thinking it was more. No, it was straight about 125 130 It was a stupid amount of shipping, there's no way I could afford to pay that, and there's no way I was going to pay that, I thought, piss off, that's ridiculous. So I took the cheaper option, so it will take a little longer, so it probably won't come till next week. But when it does, it's going to be epic, because it's an absolutely cracking system, and I'm really looking forward to picking it up. And, as I say, the game's down there that I've just got from Japan for it, so you know it's a Japanese system. It's just you don't know which system. So when it arrives, I will definitely show you what game I've got there, and I will show the system off, because I can't wait. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I know this has been a long video, and, you know... <laughs> I'm, you know what I'm like, two games and a milk it for a long video, but I can't help it when I get going. And especially when I'm as excited as I am to pick this up because it's spectacular. Dracula X, Metal Morph, my Super Nintendo collection, my Super Famicom collection. It's just great. You've got a lot of the snares, it's just building up nicely. And hopefully I'll collect more Super Famicom games as I go. So thank you for watching guys. As always, I will definitely be back shortly with another video. Bye for now.